Hello, I thought this might help um, for a tour of the Mirella Discovery 2, which will be, I'm assuming, the, very much the same as the Mirella Discovery, the executive suite. This is a suite 08001, that's 8001, the Destiny suite. I would think they're all the same, but I'm going to do this with a view from a disability point of view. We have found this to be absolutely so easy for people in a wheelchair. Um, my friend's in a wheelchair and we they, the staff have been so helpful. So if I just go through it, you can see, I'll do the door, front door first. The front door is very wide. So somebody with a wheelchair can get through here extremely well. There's no lip on the door, except for a very, very fine uh, rib on just at the base, just down there. And then when you get in, there's all this space here, which makes it really, really easy. So we'll start with the bathroom. This was the only issue which somebody with a wheelchair may wish to take account of. There is quite a large, I would say four inch step into the bathroom. If you can, if you've got somebody who's quite strong, who can lift a wheelchair, lever it onto the storm and then lever it in, then that's how we've done it and it's worked perfectly. There's room to move a wheelchair around. Here this is probably five, six feet square. And in the shower, there is grab rails. Two, one horizontal, one vertical. And the staff have been very kindly provided us with a shower seat. So my friend can actually have a shower quite easily. He can sit down, get the wheelchair up to there. There's a rib there. That is probably about two and a half, two and a half inches high. But I can get the wheelchair close to it. He can stand up, turn himself around, lower himself down. I can then shut the shower and he can have a shower quite happily. There's also a grab rail there and there's a big ledge along there so he can steady himself there. And then he can, once he's back in the wheelchair, he can turn the wheelchair around himself and use the sinks quite happily. And then there's the effort of lowering him down these steps, which if, you're, if you haven't got the strength to do that, then I would say this is going to be an issue. If you have the strength, we've managed quite happily. And he's been able to use the cabin very, very easily. Plenty of wardrobe space. There's two big wardrobes. There with your life jackets, for those who've got your life jackets in. Then you've got all the cupboard space, vanity mirror. There's cupboards behind the mirrors. So that's a cupboard. And then there's another cupboard on that side and the hairdryer. Um, a wheelchair could go under there, I would think. We haven't done that, but I would think a wheelchair would probably be able to get close to the mirror. And you've also got a vanity light there. You've also got plenty of drawer, drawer spaces. And then the bed is quite firm. It may be a little soft just at the edges. But once you're on the bed, then it can actually be, you can get onto that bed quite happily. Plenty of room to move around. And also the sofas. Now, I didn't realise this until we was in a position that we had to use wheelchairs. Things like sofas. These are actually quite firm. So you can leave, you can use these to leave himself up and lower himself down onto the sofa so he can use that. This is a bed settee. We haven't used it as a bed settee, but he can get quite happily onto that and use that. And also these chairs are quite the right height for him to 
transfer from a wheelchair onto those chairs as well. So that's and again, even more drawer space, cupboard space. I've got rid of the PlayStation, which is not a loss to us, but some people might. And we've got the safety in there as well. So those are all very useful. We haven't used half, well, I wouldn't even say a third of the, the drawer space on the cupboard space. Um, the only thing is as well, is the balcony. Could you move back just a touch? Again, big handle. It's very wide. And again, there's a rib of about two inches there. So once you can get the wheelchair up and over and into it, you can use the the balcony as a chair and two sun loungers and plenty of room for a wheelchair to move around so that's really really helpful the staff can't be couldn't have done enough um, there also one extra thing I know I'm, I'm zipping through it so I do apologize I'm not a professional uh, video so he's also diabetic so he has needles that he needs to dispose of. Just ask the steward and they will provide a sharps box. So that's more than safe. Air conditioning. So that is the Morella Discovery 2, which as I said is probably the same as the Morella Discovery. Um, the executive suite, the destiny suite, 8001. Oh, one extra thing which I found, and this is nothing to do with disability. Lovely jacuzzi bath, but be aware of how much soap you put in. Because I've used it, and I've finished up with mountains and mountains of bubbles. So just be aware of how much soap you put in. Okay, nice grab rails, very sturdy, very sturdy. So if they can get in the bath, all well and good, but they might have trouble getting out. And also, there are two places to put the shower, and that's adjustable. That one is adjustable. So, it wasn't a problem in me having a shower as and when he needed one. Okay? So, I do hope you enjoyed it. The other thing is, I do know this ship is going in for a refit. So, whether it will look like this when it's done, or whether there'll be alterations... I'd be interested for somebody else to do another video to tell us what it's like once it's been refitted. And I think that is, this is now August and I think it's going into refit in about October. So if somebody's about and wishes to do a disability view of the cabins, that would be really, really helpful because we had no idea how we was going to manage also, one extra thing, mobility scooter, absolutely fabulous, can get round the ship, absolutely no problem. The only problem was getting on and off the ship can be a little precarious because of there's a, it's like a, a ramp and then a ramp and sometimes it caught in the middle and needed a bit of a push. So you may be, just be aware of that. But other than that, if you've got a mobility scooter, as Tui, they allowed us to bring the mobility scooter and the wheelchair, and it made life very, very easy for us. Okay, so I hope it's been helpful, this video, and happy holidays. Thank you.